More often than not, a person is put in prison when they are considered a danger to those around them. Within the prison walls, they are believed to be under the watchful eye of guards and incapable of causing repeatable damage to those around them. But what happens when this is not the case? What happens when being in prison does not prevent a prisoner from causing harm and killing others? The prisoners you will learn about in this video are considered some of the most dangerous that we know about. Welcome to the most dangerous prison inmates in the world. In the USA, the most notorious prison gang that is currently active and infamous for their violent ways is the Aryan Brotherhood, a white supremacist gang who are believed to have 10,000 members both inside and outside of prison. The gang is believed to make up less than 0.1% of the prison population but is responsible for approximately 30% of murders throughout all prisons. They are also renowned for their organised crime activities which include drug trafficking, extortion and inmate prostitution. Although they have an apparent membership of 10,000, they are believed to only have 300 full members and just a handful of high ranking members. The high ranking members which have been highlighted as dictating forces within this gang include Tyler Bingham, Barry Mills and Thomas Silverstone. Thomas Silverstone is regarded within the prison system as the most dangerous prisoner in America. Having committed a supposed four murders, one of which was a guard named Klutz, he has been in solitary confinement since 1983. In an interview with BBC News, Ted Sellers, a former convict who met Silverstein during 25 years spent in prison, said he'd become a legend at Leavenworth Prison. Sellers commented, He's not as bad as they portray. Sure he's dangerous if they push him to the wall, but there were some dirty rotten guards at Marion. They would purposely screw you around. You're dealing with a person locked up 23 hours a day. Of course he's got a short fuse. The Numbers Gang and the General the Numbers Gang is believed to control most of South Africa's prisons. Established in 1911, the gang is divided into three factions, the 26s, the 27s and the 28s. Each arm of the gang serves a different purpose. The 26s are responsible for getting cash, the 27s are the law keepers and the 28s are the warriors. The Numbers Gang is particularly dangerous because of its influence within the prison system and the level of violence the gang demands of their members, being notorious for attacks on prison guards and wardens. In Polsmoor Prison, up to 50% of the wardens have been stabbed or cut. The gang often demands these attacks of new members to prove their loyalty. The gang is extremely organised and if members violate the rules then it will conduct an investigation and trial. If the verdict is death, the member is often asphyxiated or has their throat slit. For less serious crimes, the member will have a cut made within their anus in order to let blood in and will then be raped by an inmate who is HIV positive. The transfer of prisoners between South African jails allows the gang's influence and control to spread. The leader of the Polsmoor Prison 28 is John Mongrel aka The General. Mongrel is thought to be responsible for as many as 1,000 killings. Because of the severity of the violence that they spread, so to speak, and because the general is in charge, one would have to put him at the top end of the list of the most dangerous prisoners in the world. Pedro Rodriguez Filho Filho is widely regarded as Brazil's most dangerous inmate. He was born on a farm in Santa Rita in Brazil with an injured skull which was the result of beatings his father had inflicted upon his mother's womb during a fight. Filho said that his first urge to kill happened at the age of 13 with an older cousin where he pushed the boy into a sugar cane press, almost killing him. At the age of 14 he committed his first murder, the vice mayor of Alfenas. Filho killed him because he had accused his father of stealing school's kitchen food Filho then went on to kill another school guard who was believed to be the real food thief. After these murders, Filho decided to hide in Sao Paulo where he began robbing people and ended up murdering a drug dealer. It was in Sao Paulo that he met a woman called Maria who he ended up living with. Not long after, she was killed by some gang members seeking revenge for the drug dealer Filho had killed earlier. Filho escaped and in search of revenge for her death, he murdered and tortured several people in an attempt to find out the identity of the gangsters who had killed her. Before he was 18, Filho had already left a trail of 10 bodies and several tortured victims. 
He then returned to his hometown and executed his own father at the local prison, after his father had butchered his mother with a machete. To get revenge, Filho apparently killed his father, cut out a piece of his heart, chewed it and then threw it away. Filho was eventually arrested on May 24, 1973. He was sentenced to prison and killed at least 47 inmates while incarcerated. He later claimed a total of 100 victims, his total confirmed victims are 71, including his father. In 2003 he was sentenced to 128 years in prison, although the Brazilian law system prohibits anyone from spending more than 30 years behind bars. After 34 years in prison, he was released on April 24, 2007. Information from the Brazilian National Security Force Intel indicates that he went to Brazil's northeast. On September 15, 2011, local media from Santa Catarina published that Filho had been arrested again in his home in the rural area where he worked as a housekeeper. According to a news channel, he would serve time for accusations of promoting a riot and false imprisonment. Besides the number of killings, Filho became notorious in Brazil for promising the murder of other criminals such as Francisco Pereira aka the Park Maniac, another serial killer. These are just some of the most dangerous inmates in the world. If you know of any others, drop a comment below to let other people know about them. Check out the description for more information on the people I have mentioned in this. And remember to subscribe, I do frequent giveaways, so I do reward my subscribers and I will have more videos like this in the future to inform you guys about crazy, weird or scary things in the world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.